Hello knitters, Barbara Benson here. I'm an independent knitwear designer who also likes to make videos here on my YouTube channel, Watch Barbara Knit. If you would like to know more about my knitwear designs, please check in the description below. And there you will find a link to my Ravelry page where you will find images of all of the different patterns that I have designed. And if you would like to knit one up, you can get a pattern for yourself. If you do decide to knit up one of my patterns, I would love to hear about it. You can chat with me in the comments below or or also in the description below you'll find a link to the Watch Barbara Knits Facebook group and I'd love to have you come over there and join. It is a place where we can have a little bit more dialogue. It's a bit more interactive and we can share pictures and talk about knitting and fun. And speaking of the Facebook group, I asked earlier this week what the topic of this video should be and based on feedback this is our fave five video for the month and it is going to be on market bags now what fave five is is each month i spend a little bit of quality time on Ravelry and think of a theme or as this time got help with a theme and pick out five patterns that are just what's speaking to me right there at that moment. Um, I'm not saying these are the best ones that exist. I'm just saying that these are the ones that I like. And if I were going to say, hey, I want to cast on a market bag right now, these are one of the ones that I would consider doing. So I'm pretty excited about this one. This is another uh, last month's was summer knitting patterns and I think market bags are another thing that is a perfect thing to knit in the summer. They're frequently done in cotton, uh, they're lightweight, they're usually mesh and it's a fun thing that you can knit up real fast and also if you wanted to get started on your holiday gift knitting these are great things that will work as gifts. So let's get right into it. And so I have new screens, so you'll see me looking in this direction so that I can t tell you what I'm talking about. The first bag that I wanted to show you, and I spent a good time looking through all of the different knitting bags. And this one, I think, is like the embodiment of what these style of market bags usually are. I love this one. It is called This Little Piggy Went to Market. Also love the name by Dana Gervais. And I just love it. You'll see here it's got the garter uh, around the top and a nice sturdy garter handle. And it's got that expandable mesh on the bottom, which is great for you to cram things into. But the thing I really love love about this particular pattern it is also has an attached and it says cleverly attached on the thing I don't know how she did this but you knit the little pouch that you take the bag and fold it up and you can stick it in the pouch so you can carry this around in that cute little um fold over pouch has the bag in it and then also the little pouch can work I think it's attached the way so you can put like change in it and things like that so I just think that this is a super cool bag it is knit in worsted weight cotton this specifically calls for knit picks dishy which is a great yarn so it's cotton it's going to be easy to work out it says it takes one skein it's got the little pouch I think that this market bag it's, it's like the whole business. This is the whole package. And when I asked, I contacted Dana for permission to use her picture. And when she said yes, she also very generously offered to give you guys a 20% discount on this particular pattern. So when you check in the description below for all the awesome information about all of these patterns, you will see a link to this pattern on Ravelry. And if you use the coupon code BARBARA, when you check out, you'll get 20% off this pattern. So isn't that cool? It was a total surprise. Thank you so much, Dana. And this is the This Little Piggy Went to Market Market Bag. I I think I am hopefully can find the time to knit one of these because I really like this piece. Now, next is, here it is. It is Off to Market by Jen Lucas. And for this one, I wanted to go in a different direction. So typically, market bags are out of cotton. They're usually worsted weight. 
And this one I thought was very different because it is actually knit with sock weight yarn held double. And I think this would be a fantastic scrappy knit. And what I mean by scrappy knit is you can use up scraps. If you've got leftover sock yarn, you can hold it double. You could do marled effects. I think it'd be really, really cool. And I also like that this one is solid. So since you're knitting it, with the yarn held double and it's at a fairly dense gauge I believe it's going to be more solid than the previous market bag so it's going to be able to hold things you could even use this as a knitting bag because it doesn't have the expanding function which is the one thing the mesh does which is great to cram bunches of stuff but that makes holes and things fall out so there are different purposes and it depends on what it is you want to carry in the bag but i think this cute little bag is super sweet and a wonderful way to use your sock yarn stash it is by jen lucas and it is available in her book let me make sure I've got it, sock yarn accessories. So Jen wrote a whole book on sock yarn shawls, and then this is a follow-up book that's uh, sock yarn in other things. So that's a lot of fun. If you're a sock yarn lover, you should definitely check it out and knitting up this cute little bag. I like the cute little bows on the side, and there's a lot of I-cord. It's an I-card strap, but she also says there are instructions on how to do straps differently if you don't want to knit a bunch of I-cord. And you know what? I wouldn't blame you if you don't want to knit a bunch of I-cord. But have you seen the cool I-card machines that you can just crank it out? That is definitely an option. Okay, let's move on to the next one. This is just adorable. I could not resist this one. I had to include it. This is called The Treasure Bag by Jessica Anderson. And it, again, it's from a book. And the name of this book is Lorelei's Journey, Knitting for Mermaid Dolls and Those Who Love Them. And just as a concept, I, I can't. I can't get enough of this book. So the book has a pattern for this cute little mermaid doll and you make accessories for the doll and it also has patterns like, so you make a little shawl for the doll and you can make a little shawl. There's a little, a child size shawl. So like the child and the doll can have a matching shawl. I just think it's ridiculously cute. But what the author Jessica said about this bag is children love to gather things, whether it is their favorite toys or bits of things left on the floor. Nothing seems to be picking things up and putting them into a bag. And you know what? That's totally right. My son goes and plays outside and he doesn't have a bag, but he comes home with everything in his pocket. So I think a bag might be a really good idea. I really like this bag because it's got the solid bottom, which I think is good because you don't want things to run through the bottom. And I like that it's got this wave motif. It's a different, it's still an expandable lace pattern, but it's not quite the same mesh and it's got that wave motion. And I think the handles, the double handle that's going on here is really nice. And I just like a lot about this. This is in the Fiber Seed Sprout Worsted. So this is a worsted weight yarn. Again, I'm willing to wager it knits up fairly quickly. It's worked in the round. You, I'm sure you start at the bottom and go up and then make your straps. But so this is a treasure bag. I think that it would be great for me as an adult who loves mermaids. My mom loves mermaids but also for any uh, little kids who need to carry their treasures around. And you can check in the description below and you will find a link to where you can look at this book and this absolutely adorable bag. So I, I just, that baby <laughs> kills me. She's so cute. Okay, let's move on. Speaking of adorable... <laughs> You can see what kind of mood I was in when I was looking at these, can't you? The name of this just cracks me up. I can't even stand it. This is the Carp Et bag <laughs> from Christine Guest. And it's got a fish on it, you know, a carp on the bag. And it's a carpet bag. <laughs> I, <laughs> it makes me laugh. I love it. I love fish. 
And this one makes me laugh. This is a less traditional market bag, but I couldn't help but including it because I love a good pun. And it is a beautiful bag. And I think there's a lot more going on in this bag than immediately meets the eye. But the intricacy of this fish in relief with all the different stitches that she used to create this beautiful fish, I think is just fabulous. It's got the drawstring top. Um, she used I-cord, but it says that there are instructions on how to use ribbon or something else. I think this bag has more structure than some of the other ones. Looking at it, there seems to be, it's like reverse stockinette and then stockinette. So it's, I don't, the, um, it says that it's the shape of an old fashioned fish bowl. So instead of it being like, it's not like round, it's like flattened on the sides. So, you know, it's shaped like this. <laughs> I'm not making any sense. Sorry guys. But it's really super cool. So it's kind of flattened and it's got the sides and it's got the cinch tin top and it's got the fish on the front, which I just adore. Um, I love this bag and that's why I picked it out. It definitely has that market bag kind of slouchy feel. So that's pretty cool, but it has more structure. And so again, this is by Christine Guest and I... <laughs> I just love it. Um, I would be Im very tempted to embroider like something on the eye and make it like a googly eye because I think that would be pretty super funny. And then, so that was four, so five, and <sighs> I couldn't resist this one. It's not a market bag, I'm sorry. But <laughs> as I mentioned, in some of the mesh bags, things will fall through. So wouldn't it be a good idea to have a little bag that you can put inside your big bag? because you know, I love bags. So this is a little tiny bag that I just thought was sweet and beautiful. It's called the Gallworthy Gift Bag. And it has this, it's two layers. So you're actually, I think, knitting two bags. You knit this outside, this delicate outside that has the drawstring, but you can see those little spots where there's a lining. So you knit a lining and it's in that contrasting color and it, it peeks out through those spots. And I think that is a really good idea. So definitely nothing's gonna go through this one. So if you needed a little pouch to throw things in and they're calling this a gift bag, which I think it would be a gift in in of itself. Oh, I didn't say who made this one. This one is by Kristen Kapoor and it is in the book Drop Dead Easy Knits, which is a really cool book. The idea behind it is that all of the things in this book are super duper easy to knit and you can knit them while the idea was you can knit them in groups when you're going to knit night, when you're sitting around a fire, it's an easy to take a long project. So I thought this would be a fun one to throw in here at the end. Let me see. It is in light fingering weight yarn. So again, another fingering weight pattern. So you might be able to use up some of your scraps to make this absolutely beautiful and delicate little pouch. And it's still, it sort of has that market, it's like a tiny market bag. I hope you guys can forgive me for not completely staying on target. So those are the five I selected to share with you today. And I do actually have a bonus one because I actually have a market bag that I designed and it is in my book, Mosaic and Lace Knits. And this is the pinwheel market bag. I think it's a fairly obvious why I named it the pinwheel market bag. It's got this mosaic pattern. And the way this one works is it starts, it's bottom up. So you start with a circular cast on at the bottom and you knit all of these, these stripes at the bottom. And then it just goes into a plain, very expandy mesh. Look at this. It's like huge mongus. It'll get big. You can stuff lots of stuff. And then I decided to take advantage of the fact that mosaic color work, it can be very dense. This is in um, a heavier weight yarn. It's worsted or DK. Um, <laughs> I probably should know that, but it's not right off the top of my head. Did I write it down here? Yes, it is DK weight. 
and since you have the slip stitches it makes the fabric a little more dense so what happens is this top panel of mosaic stabilizes the lace so the lace will expand but the top stays so things aren't going it's not going to flop all the way open and then the way the construction on this works is you get done with this and then you bind off these stitches and transfer this part onto waste yarn and then bind off these stitches and then you have this part and then you knit the two straps separately and then a tiny bit of kitchen ring at the top you can see and you're good to go so this is the pin wheel market bag and i think it's a lot of fun the strap was important to me because i wanted it to be super sturdy it's a nice big wide strap and it will hold lots of stuff so that is our fave five for this month in market bags i hope that you uh one of these might tickle your fancy and you will maybe check it out and be inspired to knit a market bag it was interesting in when i was looking through the patterns there aren't as many of these as you would think and i'm thinking maybe i should design some more because i I think maybe there's some more interesting things that we can explore in market bags. I think there was a point in time where they were really popular and then they faded. I don't know if they're coming back, but I was really excited that there were multiple requests in the Facebook group that this is what you guys wanted to see. So I hope you like them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, click that like button. And if you would like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, please subscribe to my channel and select notifications. Thank you so much.